The uses of coil in motor and generator windings. Coils play a crucial role in both motors and generators as they form the windings in the machines. These windings consist of wire loops or coils that are wound around a core. Depending on the specific type of motor or generator, the arrangement and purpose of the coils may vary, but the fundamental principles remain similar. Motor windings are an integral part of electric motors, responsible for producing magnetic fields that drive the motor's rotation. The windings consist of coils of insulated wire wound around a core, typically made of laminated steel, which helps in concentrating the magnetic flux and reducing energy losses due to eddy currents. There are two main types of motor windings, stator windings and rotor windings, each serving a unique purpose in different types of motors. Stator windings are the stationary coils of wire found in the stator of an electric motor. The stator is the non-moving part of the motor that surrounds the rotor, which is the rotating part. The stator windings play a crucial role in generating the magnetic fields necessary for motor operation. The stator windings are typically made of insulated copper or aluminum wire wound around the stator's core. The core is usually made of laminated steel to reduce eddy current losses and enhance magnetic efficiency. When an electric current flows through the stator windings, it creates a magnetic field that interacts with the rotor's magnetic field, resulting in the generation of torque and rotation of the motor shaft. There are two primary types of stator windings, based on the type of current used. Single phase stator windings. Single phase stator windings are used in single phase motors, which are commonly found in household appliances like fans, pumps, and certain small industrial machines. Single phase motors require only one set of stator windings to generate a magnetic field. However, they have limited starting torque and are generally suitable for low power applications. Three phase stator windings. Three phase stator windings are used in three phase motors which are prevalent in industrial applications and high-power systems. Three-phase motors are more efficient and offer higher starting torque compared to single-phase motors. They have three sets of stator windings spaced 120 degrees apart, each connected to a different phase of the three-phase AC power supply. When energized, these windings create a rotating magnetic field, which induces the rotation of the rotor. The design of stator windings, including the number of turns, wire gauge, and winding pattern, is critical in determining the motor's performance characteristics, such as speed, torque, efficiency, and power factor. Engineers carefully consider these factors to optimize the motor for its intended application. In summary, stator windings are an essential component of electric motors, responsible for creating the magnetic fields required for motor operation. They are available in different configurations to suit various types of motors and applications. Rotor windings are a type of winding found in certain types of electric motors and generators. Unlike stator windings, which are stationary, rotor windings are located on the rotating part of the machine, known as the rotor. The rotor windings play a significant role in the operation of these machines. Synchronous motors in synchronous motors, the rotor windings are connected to a direct current DC, power source. The rotor windings create a magnetic field in the rotor that synchronizes with the rotating magnetic field produced by the stator windings. This synchronization allows the rotor to rotate at the same speed as the rotating magnetic field, resulting in constant speed and no slip between the rotor and stator field. The rotor windings in synchronous motors are typically connected to slip rings or a brushless excitation system, allowing the DC current to be supplied to the windings. The excitation of the rotor windings enables the motor to maintain a fixed speed and provides control over its operating characteristics. Wound Rotor Induction Motors Wound rotor induction motors, also known as slip ring motors, feature rotor windings that are externally accessible. The rotor windings in these motors are similar to those in synchronous motors, as they are connected to external resistance through slip rings. By adjusting the resistance connected to the rotor windings, the starting torque and speed characteristics of the motor can be controlled. This feature makes wound rotor induction motors suitable for applications requiring high torque during startup or variable speed operation. The external access to the rotor windings allows for additional control and customization of motor performance, 
making it a preferred choice in certain industrial applications. It's important to note that not all motors or generators have rotor windings. Many types of motors, such as squirrel cage induction motors, do not incorporate rotor windings. These motors rely on the interaction between the rotating magnetic field produced by the stator windings and the conductive bars or squirrel cage structure embedded in the rotor for their operation. In summary, rotor windings are coils of wire found on the rotating part, rotor, of synchronous motors and wound rotor induction motors. In synchronous motors, the rotor windings establish a magnetic field that synchronizes with the rotating magnetic field produced by the stator windings. In wound rotor induction motors, the rotor windings are externally accessible and allow for control of starting torque and speed characteristics. These windings provide additional customization and control over motor performance in specific applications. Generator windings are the coils of wire found in the stator and sometimes in the rotor of an electric generator, also known as an alternator. These windings play a crucial role in converting mechanical energy into electrical energy through the process of electromagnetic induction. In generators, the term armature windings refers to the windings in the stator of the machine, not the rotor. Armature windings, also known as stator windings, are the stationary windings in the stator of an electric generator. These windings are responsible for generating the electrical output of the generator through the process of electromagnetic induction. When the rotor, which contains the field windings, rotates within the stator, a varying magnetic field is created. The armature windings are wound around the stator's core and are exposed to this changing magnetic field. As a result, an electric current is induced in the armature windings, generating the desired electrical output. The armature windings in generators are typically three-phase windings in larger generators used in power plants and industrial applications. Three-phase windings consist of three sets of windings spaced 120 degrees apart, each connected to a different phase of the three-phase AC power supply. This arrangement produces a balanced and efficient generation of three-phase alternating current AC power. In smaller generators or applications where single-phase power is sufficient, the armature windings may consist of a single set of windings for generating single-phase AC power. The design and configuration of the armature windings, including the number of turns, wire gauge, and winding pattern, are carefully determined to optimize the generator's performance in terms of voltage, frequency, power generation capacity, and efficiency. In summary, armature windings, also known as stator windings, are the stationary windings in the stator of an electric generator. They generate the electrical output of the generator through electromagnetic induction when exposed to the varying magnetic field produced by the rotating rotor. The design of the armature windings is crucial for achieving the desired electrical output characteristics of the generator. Field windings are a type of winding found in the rotor of certain types of electric motors and generators. These windings are responsible for creating the magnetic field required for the operation of the machine. The field windings are typically connected to a direct current DC, power source to establish a steady magnetic field. Generators In generators, alternators, the field windings are located on the rotor. The field windings create a magnetic field that interacts with the armature windings in the stator, inducing the generation of electrical power through electromagnetic induction. The generated electrical current is then collected and used as an output or fed into the electrical grid. There are two main types of field winding configurations in generators. DC excitation. In DC excited generators, the field windings are connected to an external DC power source, such as a separate excitation system or a permanent magnet generator. The DC current flowing through the field windings establishes a constant magnetic field in the rotor, which induces the desired electrical output in the armature windings. AC excitation. In AC excited generators, the field windings are connected to the output terminals of the generator itself. A small portion of the generated AC current is passed through rectifiers to convert it to DC which is then fed to the field windings. This method is known as self-excitation and is commonly used in small-scale generators. Motors 
In certain types of electric motors, such as DC motors and synchronous motors, the field windings are also present in the rotor. The field windings are connected to a DC power source to establish a magnetic field that interacts with the stator windings or the armature windings. DC motors, in DC motors, the field windings establish a fixed magnetic field in the rotor. The interaction between this magnetic field and the current carrying conductors in the armature windings generates the torque required for motor rotation. Synchronous motors, in synchronous motors, the field windings in the rotor establish a magnetic field that synchronizes with the rotating magnetic field produced by the stator windings. This synchronization allows the rotor to rotate at the same speed as the rotating magnetic field, resulting in constant speed and no slip between the rotor and stator field. The design and configuration of the field windings are crucial in determining the performance characteristics of the motor or generator, such as torque, speed, and efficiency. Engineers carefully consider factors such as the number of turns, wire gauge, and the type of magnetic material used to optimize the field winding design for the intended application. In summary, field windings are coils of wire located in the rotor of certain electric motors and generators. They establish the magnetic field required for motor or generator operation. The field windings are typically connected to a DC power source and play a crucial role in generating the magnetic field that interacts with the stator windings or armature windings to induce electrical output or produce mechanical motion. Generators are vital for producing electrical power in various applications, from large power plants that supply electricity to entire regions, to small portable generators used in emergencies or remote locations. The design and configuration of the generator windings, as well as the type of excitation system used, are crucial in determining the generator's output characteristics, such as voltage, frequency, and power generation capacity. In summary, generator windings are the coils of wire in the stator and sometimes the rotor of an electric generator. The armature windings in the stator generate electrical power through electromagnetic induction, while the field windings in the rotor establish the magnetic field required for this process. Together, these windings enable the conversion of mechanical energy into electrical energy, providing a vital source of power for various applications.